and nationwide through Sirius and XM Satellite Radio. From Law and Order to the White House, Republican Fred Thompson makes his case for the presidency in an exclusive interview tonight at 7 p.m. only on Bloomberg Television. Welcome back to Taking Stock. Now, despite the credit crunch, my next guest says hedge funds are going to see record inflows in 2007. Which strategies are doing the best and which ones are having a tough year? Jack Hittery is the chairman of Gemstone Capital Advisors. They advise hedge funds as well as investors, and he joins me now. Jack, welcome back. Good to see you, Pam. How are you? Uh, tell me, well, I, I'm going to find out. Tell me about the hedge fund industry. Who's, who's doing well and who's doing poorly right now? You know, when, when the times get tough, you really can separate winners and losers, and that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing the winners have tremendous returns, and the losers really are sucking win. So on the winner side, and we might have a graphic, um, uh, we're looking at uh, Paulson and Company up 500 percent, uh, some of the other funds up 30, 40 percent, uh, really just in a matter of year to date, and most of those uh, most of those increases really in the past few months. What causing, for example, we're looking at Paulson right here. If you can take a look at this bar chart, we're looking at Paulson as well as Passport. Passport and Lone Pine. What's, what's Paulson's strategy? Why has it done so well? They, they shorted the subprime. They, they saw it coming and they shorted big. Uh, and he's up, he's up 500%. Passport up 300% for that same period of time. These folks analyzed the story and saw it coming and made their bets appropriately. What about the losers? On the losing side, very unusual, we have Goldman Sachs in the losing column. We have their, uh, one of their lead funds, Global Alpha Fund, down uh, 20 plus percent. If you actually take out the um, withdrawals, 60 percent decline for the year. Global Alpha Fund, 60 percent decline for the year. Take a look here year. so we can take a list. Now, this is the worst performing uh, funds taking a look at performance. Uh, Goldman Sachs, now it says here 37 percent. 37 percent is the performance. In the performance. And then if you, if you add in the fact that some withdrawals have happened, it's down 60 percent in terms of assets. That's a pretty steep decline. That's six billion dollars. What was, what of was loss. the strategy? What was the strategy that, that produced this kind these of are, return? These are quant driven. These are mainly mainly what you see here are quant driven funds, and so the quant driven guys have really had a tough time. One of the biggest quant guys recovered to some extent. Jim Simons with Reef. He was down nine percent. Is now basically flat, up one percent for the year. But some of these other guys were not able to recover. The Goldman Sachs Global Alpha Fund, the Goldman Sachs North America Fund down twenty one percent. A Highbridge down. Uh, some of the other. Funds are down. AQR also looks like down about 6% for the year compared to S&P up 4%. These are funds that are supposed to deliver absolute return. That is, no matter what the S&P is doing, they're supposed to deliver solid, steady, positive returns. And that's not happening in these cases. So uh, the investing base is now re-examining the role of quant funds, these quantitative-driven, computer-driven models. So what kind of strategies are working? Well, the emerging markets continue to be strong players. Um, if you look both on a return basis and a risk-adjusted return basis, uh, the emerging markets of Asia, ex-Japan, ex Japan continues to be a laggard. But if you take Asia, ex-Japan, if you take some of the other funds, and very interesting, look at fixed income ARB. Fixed income ARB of 3.87% year to well, date. You can see, this is the last bar here on the right, right so hand side. So not great, but that means that if you're a fixed income fund, a credit fund, you can't blame the credit crunch for massive losses. As a whole, they basically yeah, she made money. They basically steadied themselves. They stabilized themselves over the last few months. So you can't just blame the whole wave if it took you down. Fixed income ARB actually ended up 3.87 up percent in terms of year to date. So what about the wave of new money? Where are the inflows going? The inflows are going to well, they're going away from the quant funds into some of these areas such as the emerging market, such as the event driven um, short bias. Again, even though there was some. Some downturns in the Dow Jones, short bias, again, did not prove itself out, down 3 4% year-to-date. So short bias has proved very, very tricky, even in these choppy markets. And tell me about money flows, but based on how big the fund is. The big getting bigger, the small getting smaller, the bigger, or getting squeezed out? The bigger out? getting very, very big. More than 70% of the new inflows are going to those funds with $5 billion or more. That's 60%. They, are, they have now have 60% of the assets of the total hedge fund space of $1.8 trillion. And we just saw another interesting move today. Eaton Park, the hedge fund uh, started by Eric Mindich and others, now has $10 billion. They just scooped up R6 Capital, a small fund that has $300 million. Why would they scoop up this fund? This fund is doing very well. It's a fellow Goldman Sachs, a former employee. And so Eric and this 
uh, employee knew each other there at Goldman Sachs. But the folks at R6 realized they just couldn't get the big dollars. At $300 million, they're just too small to really attract the big dollars. And so being, by being part of Eaton Park, they can now attract the real big money running on their platform. Jack, we got about 20 seconds. Talk about money. Talk about compensation for just a second. Well, I think compensation, obviously, a lot of hedge fund managers are going to be a bit hit hard this year in terms of their typical $50 million, $200 million take-home pays, uh, particularly the quant guys. Uh, but I think others will do very well. Look at Pulse and others. So it's real separation of the wheat and the chaff All right. in the past three months. All right. Well, Jack Hittery, thanks very much for coming in of Gemstone Capital Advisors. Thanks very much. And you're going to have to have you back to follow up on all these hedge fund trends. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Appreciate it. Next up, Garmin shares. They surge after the company withdraws its bid for Teleatlas. Find out why one analyst says the stock could go much higher this holiday season. Around the globe, around the clock, you're watching the world's ultimate financial authority. Bloomberg Television, a wealth of information. Hey, isn't Jacobson choking? i definitely say Jacobson's choking. I know exactly what to do. I've seen it in the movies. It's called the Heimlich Maneuver. You make a ball, stand behind the guy and pull hard. The action on the solar plexus. That's right, the solar plexus. Expels the food. Just like I told you. Less talk. Just like in the movies. Make it happen. The Royal Bank of Scotland Group. Communicate in less than a second with Nextel Direct Connect. Nice work. The largest and fastest push-to-talk network on the planet. That's getting it done at Sprint Speed. Visit Sprint.com slash Nextel. Diva Natalie Desai on Going Mad. Architect Richard Gluckman's stunning museums. And in our focus on design, fashion icon and bad girl Vivian Westwood. Most people are clones. They look alike. Only on Muse. Bloomberg News is brought to you by Infinity. Visit our website at www.infinity.com. I love Bongo. I went to the website. I could remember it. It was easybongo.com. There are tons of movies on Bongo. I don't have to go to the media store anymore. I was hooked. That was it. Action, comedy, romance, horror. And you can take Bongo with you. You can put them onto like a portable media player and watch them from there. I just flip open my laptop and I got my movie. Once in a while I watch it at work. <laughs> you know, that portability is very important. I love it. We love Bongo. Download hit movies for less than $10 a month. Go to bongo.com. I started catering as a side business. I wanted to succeed, so I got a domain name and a website from godaddy.com. I worried that getting set up on the internet would be difficult. But GoDaddy made it a cinch. Thanks to my .com name from GoDaddy, my business is smoking! Just go to www.godaddy.com. Just let it cool down a bit, it'll be fun. For up-to-the-minute earnings reports and analysis, watch Bloomberg's special Earnings Watch coverage throughout earnings season, only on Bloomberg Television. Welcome back to Taking Stock. The shares of Garmin, they surged on Friday after the company withdrew its $3.5 billion bid for the mapmaker Tela Atlas. My next guest says Garmin shares are headed even higher. Peter Friedland is an analyst with Soleil Securities, and he joins me now. Peter, thanks for coming in. Nice to see you in the studio. Thanks for having me. Uh, Peter